money. The minute that them folk called your phone to see if you were going to pay for the funeral, you blocked them. That's not real, cuz. On God, that's not real. You ain't straight. You ain't straight. That's them folk. Come on now, cuz. You, 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 you pluck. On God, that ain't straight, cuz. You on here trying to act all real. You post the scar. Talking about some long live him, bro. You ain't do nothing, cuz. On oh, God. And you ain't getting them chains, cuz. You can't get them chains. There's no way you can get them chains. It ain't no way that's happening. Come on now, fool. You tripping, cuz. Thought we were just gonna let that go, cuz. No. It's over. You play. And we don't need your money. We don't need your money to pay for his front of he was going to get buried. Either way, it's just a point that you supposed to be his CEO and you supposed to be this, this, and that, and you don't lie like that, cuz. How do you even feel? But when they text you and ask you about Scott Funeral, cuz, you told them folks that, that, that Keisha birthday coming up. Y'all, y'all rich. Y'all can celebrate her birthday any day. Come on now, cuz. You playing with my brother like he just didn't like, come on now, cuz. You playing what, bro? My brother just ain't no nigga you can. Nah, bro, my brother means something to us, nigga. What you mean? This ain't that and you not getting them chains, bro. I thought Gucci was rich, too. Ha, fooled all us. Yeah, I ain't right, dude, about no nigga being rich. It's not about no money. It's not none of it. It's about your respect, bro. You disrespect the pop now by lying like you gonna pay for the funeral and knowing you wasn't cause you went ghost the next day. Like what what was that? What you telling free lies for? Like what? Nobody asked you for that, bro. Oh god, everybody gotta know what you what what you want. Let's check it out and check it out now. Man, I knew this wasn't about nothing. The moment I seen homie ran his finger through his hair and it started snowing on my screen with all that dandruff, I knew what type of play this was, people. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys don't know, uh, listen, rest in peace, Big Scar, okay? Now, apparently, some of his close friends are saying that Gucci made a promise to pay for the funeral of Big Scar, but didn't come through the process, okay? They're saying that Gucci claimed that his girl's birthday was coming up and he had to go spend on his girl and wouldn't cover the cost of what he promised. And eventually, um, Gucci's girl, Keisha K.R., actually dropped the receipts, and literally, the receipts. Now, it's a $20,000 payment, two $10,000 payments to the funeral home, which seemingly was meant to cover the expenses of Big Scar's funeral, Okay. Now, she said, 20K, Gucci, what you did to these folks, man? Then she continued by saying, we also sent flowers and not even a thank you. Now, clearly, this is something that's kind of went left, right? Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Here's the thing when you're dealing with uh, family and friends and relatives of somebody, especially someone who passed away who was a celebrity, you can't get any money. You got to pay the funeral home. I'll keep it 100 with you. This is the best thing Gucci could have ever done. You gave that money, trust me, they're going to get a rinky dink funeral, and trust me, the majority of that money will not go towards the burial. Listen, if you know anybody that's pressed like a panini over stuff like this, you know they're not about to use all the money for the funeral, man. Come on, you know what type of time it is. They about to, you about to get them 30K, they about to use 5K on the funeral, okay? Get it, get it done any type of way possible, and then they about to blow the rest in Louis Vuitton. Let's keep it 100. Now, I'm not accusing this particular guy or even the family of possibly their intentions to do that but i think gucci did the right thing pay directly to the funeral home now somebody's gonna say well why would gucci go ghost well here's the thing if you pressing the dude for money he already intends to pay but who knows if you're giving him receipts just pay the funeral home bro and I think this was just the best thing possible. Uh, I don't want to call these people who are obviously still hurting cappers. But come on, man. To come online and throw all this dirt on Gucci's name. Tell me you got his chains because that's Big Scar's chains. And y'all ain't giving them 10, 17 chains back. And how you thought Gucci was rich, rich. This is the problem with a lot of people who are surrounding most situations involving celebrities. They think money fall from the sky. They think money grow on trees. You know what these guys were waiting to see? If Gucci gonna send over 200 racks in a Louis bag and be like, yo, bust that down with the whole family and get him buried and throw a party. No, motherfucker. Hell no. This is for a burial of someone who just lost their life. 
all you should be saying is, hey, there's outstanding bills for the funeral. Why aren't these paid if you're going to take care of the funeral? But other than that, Gucci don't owe y'all nothing. Why are we turning this thing into now Gucci versus an artist that he clearly had some love for because he signed the dude. He put money in his pockets. He believed in him. And after he lost his life, he said, which he didn't have to, I'm going to cover the expenses. Why try to embarrass him? Why try to make him look cheap? Why try to like put a, 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 a dirty name on him to make people think that Gucci's some foul dude, man? Come on, like, come on. Come on, man. All right. Listen. I'm glad Gucci ain't even get involved in this back and forth because while he got a lot of love for the artist, you get to realize once the artist passes away, sometimes other people got ulterior motive. They're just trying to milk it for whatever they could get. And I'm sorry, the gravy train is over. Rest in peace, the big scar. And for everybody mourning, you know, um, I send my condolences. But we got to stop blaming Gucci, okay? Get a call, Moxie. If you guys like them, subscribe to Gucci. I'm up.